I'm made of- I'm a big metal machine, why do I die with one frickin' hit? Hi, welcome back to the Spamless Gamer, where I'm playing NES games in the order they came out, and today we got games 448 to 451. The Last Ninja, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, Metal Storm, and Ski or Die! Sure. And our first game is The Last Ninja, uh, which came out in 1991. Oh, it's the game of the year! How about that? Game of the year. Asterisk. Who said that? Nobody. We got a ninja on the front. Back of the box. The last ninja. As Armakuni, the master ninja of the ninth century, you are about to explore the greatest mystery in martial arts hero uh, history. You're a stranger in a strange land of modern day Manhattan on the trail of the evil shogun. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, I don't see who... Oh, there we go. Voted game of the year 1988 from Commodore User Magazine. Great, so it's Game of the Year from 1988, and it was released on the NES in 1991. Those are lies. Let's play it. The Last Ninja. Making up my own music. Uh, okay. Oh, look, they thank Clive. Is this really the last ninja? Bert Ernie? Yeah, okay. Now entering Central Perk. Oh, that's a weird isometric view. Oh, okay. Pick up things. What is that? I want it. Okay, I guess I can't have it. These are weird controls, man. Up always moves you, I mean, kind of upper left, but it is a weird view. Kick him! I cannot figure out directions very well. I am the last ninja! Fight me! Oh boy. Game of the year, my butt. Kick him. Uh, punch him? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna move on then. Nope, I can't. What the hell? Ugh! Stay in fight! <laughs> okay. Oh, he's curled up in a ball. Let's go over here. Behind the wall. Hey, he got back up. That's so f oh, No. No. You don't like that. I can't get these controls. I can't. If I hit down, he always moves, like, down to the bottom right. These are not good controls, and you can only move in, like, cardinal directions, not diagonal. This, this is unplayable on the NES. Graphics are really good, I'll give it that. Seven. Sound seems to be okay, The sound, not a lot of it. Music is, it's okay, I'll give it a six. Um, story. You're apparently a time-traveling ninja, so that's always cool with me. Controls, oh, a one. Funness, it's probably fun on the Commodore 64. I think I've seen videos on that, but on the NES, I just can't, can't with the controls. Hold my attention, uh, a two, and overall we're going to give it a two and a half on the NES. Let's move on to the next game. All right, our next game today is Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, which... Came out in 1991, and the box art just has a picture from the movie on it. Back of the box here. Step on it, Junior! Get your bullwhip dust off your fedora and race into the worlds of action, intrigue, and adventure. Now you can become Indiana Jones and embark on a quest for the Holy Grail. Travel across three continents with six action arcade sequences to rescue your dad, recover lost relics, and keep the Grail Diary safe from the Gestapo. Just like the real Indy, you call the shots. You decide where to search next. Brunewald Castle? It's Run? The Temple? 
The final adventures are the toughest. Dad was right. Against Nazi spies, tanks, and traitors, you don't get a silver medal for finishing second. Okay. Great. All right. No silver medals. Indy 3. All elements of... Oh, oh. the music here, such as it is. Okay. Finally, a moment to relax. Hey, what's this? Something from Venice, Italy. It's Dad's Grail Diary. See? That's how Indy talked, right? Every clue he followed, every discovery he made, the complete record of his 40-year search for the Holy Grail. Last I heard, Dad was in Venice, deeply involved in a search for the Holy Grail, but why would he send the diary to me? Hmm, a telegram from Marcus. Postal telegram. Rap, rap. Indy, the cross of Coronaro is in Portugal, but it won't be there for long. It's on a ship called the Coronado. Okay, makes sense. It's scheduled for leave port to leave port in a few days. I'm heading to Itzkerdurn. I'll meet you there, Marcus. I've been searching for that all my life. I must go to the cross. I must get... Let's go get the cross, because that's what he did in the movie. Yes? Yes? What? Come on. Why won't you go? Hey, Indy. Oh. Sneaking on the boat was hard enough. Here's where the fun begins. According to Marcus, one of these goons has the cross. Kick punch. Fall. Kick him in the nuts. Oh, this is making me seasick. This music is just like the movie. Wow. I should have went to Venice. Turn around. Kick that man in the face. Doesn't mean he have a whip but a gun? Why am I punching? Ugh. He does have a whip. Not oh, a good does me up close, and I'm dead. I've killed Indiana Jones. Finally. Uh. Sometimes they fall right away. Sometimes they don't. This is the boss. He looks different. Not you. God, leave me alone. I want to climb the... Oh. Take these idiots. Climb the ladder. Oh, that's not the boss. Sometimes these guys fall with like one hit, and sometimes they just freaking won't die. I don't understand how this game works. Oh, stop it! lost today, kid. That doesn't mean you have to like it. Alright. Yes. Let's go to Venice. Let's see what Venice is like. Let's go to Venice. Come on, go to Venice! Ah, oh, what a pleasant surprise. See, there's a port clues in the library. Let's have a look. Hmm, it's a picture of the Grail, but it's been scrambled. I better put it back together and leave this place before it goes up in flames. Okay. How do we do this? Oh. Okay. One of these. One of these things I suck at, huh? Perfect. Cut. Print. Uh, 
Nope. Really bad at these. Really, really bad at these. I've made it worse. I've made it so much worse. Um. Eek. Is that it? Perfect? Cut? Print? It's all in mind. Fight! Punch! Punch it! Oh, indeed. I never said I was good at things. That's it, right? Right? Why is it not done? What did I, what did I do wrong? Uh, hello? Seriously? Am I missing something? This, this looks correct to me. Yes? No? Um, game? Oh, I had to hit select. That was dumb. That was close. I better keep the sketch of the grail at a safe place. I might need it later. Early the next morning. Telegram from Sal. Maybe he's learned something. Father has been held captive at the Brunewald Castle in Austria. Guard your father's diary with his enemies. We'll do anything to get it. Marcus hasn't been arrived. Hasn't arrived. He should be here. I've been here yesterday. I'm worried. Great. Well, what should I do? Let's find Marcus or something. No. Oh. Yes. Why is it select? It's select on the menus to hit start. Or, you know, well, could have been a button press. Could have been the start button. No, it's select. Oh, more fighting. Fighting sucks. Just goodbye, Indy. Okay. Graphics. Graphics, uh, not too great. They're, they're five. They're, I mean, they're, they're average. Sound is not too great. Music. Music is fine. It's a six story. Uh, I do like you get to choose the path that you take. Um, don't have to play linearly, linearly from the movie. Uh, controls, the fighting sucks. Uh, we're going to give it a f four and funness. It's Indiana Jones. I love Indiana Jones. Well, you know, they only made three movies. Uh, we'll give it a three and a half. The game's not too great. Doesn't hold my attention. A three and a half. And overall, Indiana Jones and Last Year's Day. We'll get a four. And let's see what's next. All right, our next game today is Metal Storm for the NES, which came out in 1991. And we got Metal Storm sitting there, looking all Metal Stormy. No ordinary computer virus. Battle Station Cyberg's massive computer has keep, keeps peace throughout the solar system is no longer user-friendly. It has gone wildly out of controls. Oh, Cyberg's gone wild. The laser gun it operates has already destroyed Neptune. Earth is the next target. As a high-tech hotshot, you must enter Cyberg's core and activate the system's self-destruct mechanism. Mankind is relying on your know-how and toughness to see this thing through. Time is running out. Oh yes, one more thing. The powers of your gravity flip suit are essential for a successful outcome to the mission. The suit empowers you to proceed both upside down and right side up as you dash to put this computer permanently on the blink. On the blink. There's a term you haven't heard in a while. All right. Ready? Why am I like a single color? Okay. Oh, one hit, you're dead. Nice explosion, though. Oh, stop. 
stop it. I'm made of... I'm a big metal machine. Why do I die with one freaking hit? What's the point of a mech suit if that's... So weak. Weak. Not when I'm made of metal! with one hit. Stinking password. Okay. And weird background thing going on. Weird parallax thing happening on the NES. Okay. I, it's, it's okay. Graphics, everything kind of blends in together. The color palette could be better. Um, but the details are nice, it's just the color palette is getting me. Sound, sound is decent, I'll give that a six. Uh, music, I like the music, give that a seven and a half. And story, uh, something about a cyborg computer. Uh, sure, four, controls, controls are fine. Uh, give those a seven. Funness, a five, because it'll hold my attention. It's just too difficult with the one hit kills. But overall, I'm gonna give it a six. Metal Storm, pretty decent game, uh, if you're hardcore, I guess. All right, let's see what's next. Our final game today is Ski or Die, which came out in 1991. And there's the totally tubular radical man on the... F what's with the tooth? I don't know, but he's on a skateboard. How good for him? Or skateboard, yeah. He's on a ski board. Let's go. Play the game. Whoa. He's upside down. Welcome to my ski shop. I'm Rodney. Wow. Okay. Get the skater 
die. But on I mean even controls like skate or die. Those are bad things. They look like power-ups, but what do I know? Can I do something different? No. Uh, let's try Snowball Blast. light gun game without a light gun. Yay. Okay. Seen that. Uh, downhill Blitz. <laughs> okay. That's one way to start. die if I don't ski. It's just like the movie Speed. There's like a bomb inside me if I don't ski and die. Okay. I do tricks. Alright. And last one. Acro area. Whoopity-woo! Okay. It's Skater Die on Skis. Graphics, uh, they're, they're decent. We'll give those a six. Sound is also okay. Music, you know, five and a half. Story, I'm still not sure why you die if you don't ski. Uh, controls, they're okay. We'll give those a six and a half. Funness. A three does it hold my attention? Not so much. And overall, we're going to give Ski or Die a four and a half. And that's it. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next game.